Once you come to the races, it's easy to get bitten by the bug, wondering what it would be like to have your picture taken in the winner circle after your horse crossed the line first. Brandon Fisher has the story of 20 Kentuckians who are living that dream. Winning on horse racing's grandest stage is usually reserved for the rich and prominent. A group here in Lexington is changing that. I actually grew up here in central Kentucky and always watched the races and never thought it would be something I could be an owner of, but always dreamed about it. And um, by, by setting the budget and the price range that we purchased in, we made it affordable for people like me who you know, could, could afford a little bit but didn't want to go broke doing this. In turn, that led to Kelly Colliver, Hal Burge, and Ron Holmberg, who were partners in a group called Team Victory, coming together to form Living the Dream Racing. Through the years, we decided that there was some things we liked and didn't like in that particular partnership, and we thought we'd give it a go on our own and, and knew that we had enough family and friends that had the same love of the sport that we did. 40 shares were sold and a total of 26 partners were in place to make living the dream a reality. The partners turned to legendary trainer Kenny McPeak to find their diamond in the rough horse with a budget of just $60,000. He's an excellent horseman um, beyond his training skills. He's an, is an outstanding bloodstock agent. He, um, he has a knack for selecting horses in all price ranges. That horse was Dream Empress, but there was one problem. The filly had a chip in her ankle. Still, the decision was made to purchase the horse, and after corrective surgery, the training began. And 42 days after Dream Empress broke her maiden, the decision was made to run Dream Empress in last October's Darley Alcibiades at Keeneland. Kenny had called me, and we discussed with the other, the other managing partners about her um, ability to take on a higher class horse in the Alcibiades, and timing has been really everything with this racehorse. And, Kenny really thought she was primed for a big race, and she certainly was. Little did this group of owners realize what was about to happen. Dream Empress took to the track at Keeneland and smoked the competition in 143.82. Living the Dream Racing was sent into a frenzy. That big time understatement. In fact, before she crossed the finish line, we were all jumping out of our seats. A win that brought instant success, credibility, and an invitation to the 2008 Breeders' Cup at Santa Anita Park. Finished second in, in, in a Breeders' Cup race, um, and then she went on to be an Eclipse um, nominee, Eclipse Award nominee, and that, that was even more special. The expectations are high for Jean Empress in 2009. Right now we're, we're, we're nominated for the Ashland Stakes, which is opening weekend at Keeneland, and we feel she's fit and ready for that race. Living the Dream Racing is adding to the team. We purchased another filly um, last September. Her name is Dreams on Tap. It's a group everyone seems to be rooting for. I think everybody can kind of relate to us and kind of get excited with us. 